What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about making 2022 our happiest year yet. So I feel like 2021 for me was very much about envisioning the kind of person I wanted to be, the kind of lifestyle I wanted to live, the kind of mindset I wanted to have every day. But in 2022, I've decided for myself that it's the year where I put in the work and I work towards that productive and positive lifestyle that I've been envisioning. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the many habits that I've been including into my routine, the new routines that I've been doing and how much they've been helping me. Some of the habits may seem super simple and super basic, but I'm telling you it's those super simple super basic habits that make the biggest positive impact on your life Also, I want to give a huge thank you to athletic greens for sponsoring this video You guys are the best if you guys are also on the process and the journey of becoming the best possible version of yourself Then I hope you guys enjoy this video and at least one of these things helps you. So yeah, let's get started with So something that I'm making a really big priority this year is taking better care of my body. It's something that I've honestly never really prioritized. I've never really focused on, you know, working out, even if it's just like going on a walk. Being very consistent with water is something I'm really, really focusing on this year. I literally, this has become like an emotional support water bottle. I carry this everywhere I go. So I've been trying to incorporate all of these things into my routine and it's simple things like drinking more water to a new one that I've actually been doing, which is drinking my greens. And I never ever understood the importance of drinking your greens. Like I honestly thought like the people that drink like the big green juices every morning are people like The Rock or people that are like athletes and like people that work out a lot i was like i don't need to do that the positive effect that i had on my body and the way that i feel throughout the day is drastic and that brings us to today's sponsor which is athletic greens i'm so excited to be working with them i'm so excited to show you guys how i've been using it you're going to see me drinking it the whole thing so ag1 by athletic greens is a convenient and comprehensive daily nutrition it has 75 vitamins minerals and whole food sourced ingredients made for just about everybody their company has created a movement around simplifying your health routine so it's not just for athletes it's for busy moms busy dads first timers rookies everyone in between. AG1 supports your energy, your focus, your gut health, your digestion, and your immune system, and you don't have to worry about taking all of these other pills and other products that I know, at least for me, I'm really forgetful about it, so I know that with just one single scoop every single morning, I'm getting all of the vitamins that I need. It's pretty much just eight ounces of water, one scoop, or one of the travel packets every single day, and that's it. With every single order of AG1, Athletic Greens donates to organizations all around the world to provide meals for children in need, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video and wanting to work with me. So I'm honestly really excited that I'm finally implementing something that's beneficial into my routine because it's so easy and the benefits that it gives you and the positive impact that it has on me throughout the day is mind-blowing. I literally think if I can chug an alcoholic beverage, I can chug this. Okay, so I have my little coffee here. I have my breakfast and I'm gonna eat this while I'm also doing some like emails and computer stuff. But a habit that I really, really wanna talk about is a habit that I saw last year and I don't wanna be dramatic, be like this habit changed my life, but it kind of changed my life. So I was on Pinterest like late last year and I saw this like quote or whatever and it was the touch it once challenge. The purpose of the touch it once challenge is to help you with procrastinating, which I like that is my number one. Like I feel like I could be so much further in life, like I could have accomplished so much more in my 22 years of life if I wasn't a procrastinator. A good example of this is basically when you get homework on Friday. I know I'm not the only one, but I always 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 left it until Sunday night to be doing that homework. I remember I would always be stressing and I would always be like, "Why did I leave it until the very last second?" 
so the touch it once challenge is basically do it on friday like as soon as you get the homework you do it you put it away and you're done with it answering emails as soon as you get an email is if i see something like a chore around the house that has to be done as soon as i see it i do it it's basically completing the task that's right in front of you no matter how big no matter how small you get it done you put it away and it's done with the routine that i've made for myself that i'm absolutely obsessed with is this time in the morning right now where I drink my coffee, I do my emails, I'll edit a video, I'll go on my laptop, I'll do whatever it is that I have to do, and I get it done right here. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So video's up, emails are done, now I'm gonna go get dressed, and you guys can help me pick an outfit. I'm trying to pick an outfit right now, and thankfully it's cold today it was um, i hate to complain about the weather but it was really annoying i don't even know if it was like a heat wave or something but it was so hot last week and it, i was like dude this feels like it's april and i was getting into my summer vibes and then i was like no because it's gonna literally gonna be cold next week now it's cold um and i woke up today and i think it rained or something i don't even know but cold weather means my outfits are so much better i have like no cute summer clothes however i can't seem to figure out what to wear because i have like no in between like i will either wear that big ass jacket right there where it's literally like 70 degrees it looks like i'm going to the north pole i know i wore this in the last vlog but i kind of want to wear my sunday fun day but it's tuesday today i've never worn a more mom outfit than the one i'm wearing right now this sweater is so comfortable so i'm not even mad about it and then i just have my mom jeans and my platform white bands i was gonna wear this purse and just make it like a little cuter and youthful but i'm going to trader joe's so i feel like i need something that's like not in my way This next habit that I'm going to share with you guys, I've actually been doing it since the very first week of the year. So since 2022 started, I've been doing this. So what I do is every single Monday, I write down goals that I have for myself for the week. So instead of writing goals for the day, I write goals for the week. And it's not until the next Monday that I go back and I cross off everything that I did. Now that I look at it from like a week's point of view, you actually see how productive you really are. And it keeps you motivated to accomplish more and keep going for the new week. Okay, so I am headed to Trader Joe's because I'm going to be cooking tonight, guys. I'm going to be cooking something up. I saw a TikTok recipe and it literally looks like it's like a bomb ass dish for dummies. So I don't think I can mess it up. And it's also on an air fryer, which we have and we've never used. And my mom wants me to be the one to try it out. So I'm going to be the one to either mess it up completely or make something really, really bomb. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and I'm going to buy some cute little flowers and I'm also going to buy the food to cook tonight because I'm also a chef. I'm not just dressed like a mom, I'm also going to be cooking like a mom. So, yeah. Welcome to Southern California. Someone told me why it's hailing. It's sunny when I go in, I come back out. Everybody at Trader Joe's was freaking the out. They were like, is it raining? Everybody, and I mean literally everybody, is recording on their phones right now. Like the guy next to me is recording. <laughs> Okay, I'm quickly gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. When I get flowers, I usually get them from street vendors because that's the way to go. But I don't really see many where I live. It's usually when I go to the valley. Um, so I got some flowers. I just got ones that looked pretty and I'm gonna make my own like little bouquet at home. I got these and even the cashier was like obsessed with them. They are um, chamomile, I think. Yeah, they're chamomile. These are called jumbo mum balls. That's cute. And they're just like some white little flowers. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Love. The sun's out. You see what I mean? Like this shit is more bipolar than literally like Mexican moms. The white rice was totally sold out. So I ended up getting the brown rice and I got one avocado and then I got salmon, but I needed seasoning for the salmon. So I got this one called everything, every English, everything but the elote. And then I got the fresh Atlantic salmon, boneless, skinless filet. And it was only $8. Like this whole thing. Is that cheap for salmon? I don't know. Okay, I decided that before I go home and cook this hopefully bomb as meal, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. I'm not getting coffee, I'm getting a matcha drink. I keep seeing people get matcha and it looks really good. Wait, and I don't even know what I'm getting. Oh, shit. Um, could I please get an iced grande, grande matcha latte? 
And then could that have um, oat milk and could it also have a vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Is it possible to add two pumps of vanilla? All right, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Oh no, <laughs> I think it was literally six seventy. Like I'm pretty sure it was almost $7. Okay, this is just an experiment to see if it's actually good. Um, I better not like fall in love with it because I'm not gonna be spending like $7 every time I wanna drink. So it's basically ice grande matcha latte with oat milk, add vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Hello. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. I really wanted to do like a random act of kindness and pay for the person behind me, but there's literally no car behind me. Out of all days. Oh my God, wait, that's actually good. <laughs> It's like cake. At least I definitely do not regret buying it. It's very good. If you're ever gonna get matcha and if you don't like matcha, I don't really like matcha. It's like the the earthy feeling. That's the only way to describe it. Definitely add, first of all, get oat milk. Second of all, get vanilla sweet cream cold foam. And then the two pumps of vanilla is just chef's kiss. So this is something that I've honestly not just been doing in 2022, but definitely practicing for maybe like one or two years now. And that is to enjoy your own company. Every time I do a Q&A, every time you guys see it in a video, I always get comments and questions on being like, how are you comfortable like doing things on your own? And I'm honestly talking from experience where I was not like this before. Like I remember like two years ago, if I didn't have somebody going with me to do my errands, even to film my videos, like to go to the grocery store, like going to the mall by myself was like, out of this world i was like never will you catch me doing that like absolutely not and now it's like i am so comfortable and like able to just go and do that on my own and that isn't something that you just get overnight you have to kind of force yourself to do it enough times and be uncomfortable enough times until one day you're gonna be fine and you're gonna be like oh my god i just did that and it was no big deal because it really is no big deal but if you struggle with you know doing things on your own or being able to just be on your own and enjoying your own company and actually have fun just being on your own i would prioritize that because i'm telling you guys when you are content being on your own you will not accept anything less you will only accept better you will only accept bigger and better things i am so passionate about not wasting your time with people that you know don't make you the absolute happiest um anyways i'm gonna go home now i've been here for way too long mm. that was so good